Hello everybody. Most recent estimates suggest that magma is less than a kilometer below the surface, but it's almost impossible to get accurate numbers as it's really difficult to detect the magma when it's so shallow. In the evening on July 8th, earthquake activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula spiked, indicating a slight change in the magma's whereabouts. Let's check out the details. As I said, on July 8th, around 6 p.m. local time, earthquake activity spiked. But in my last video, I talked about a few scenarios that could play out, with this being one of them. We saw this kind of activity back in 2021, and it was caused by the magma changing paths and moving from Mount Keilir to Mount Fagradalsfjall. Now, when looking at the earthquakes, we don't get as clear of an image of where magma could be moving. The most recent earthquake activity on July 9th has been centered northeast of Mount Keilir, at depths of around 3 to 6 kilometers, which is much deeper than what experts estimate the shallowest magma to be at. So these quakes are most likely pressure release quakes, although scientists are not eliminating the possibility of these being caused by the magma moving northeast. The most recent shallow earthquake activity was on July 8th, in the south end of the activity line, where earthquakes were at depths of 1 to 2 kilometers. But as of the making of this video, on July 9th, no earthquakes have been detected on the south end of the activity line. For the time being, there's a lot of uncertainty, as magma seems to be at such shallow depths that our methods of locating it can't be relied upon. As the earthquakes northeast of Mount Keilir are most likely pressure release quakes, magma seems to be trying to break the surface in the south end of the activity line, and the absence of activity in that area could be the infamous calm before the storm, that has always occurred before eruptions in Mount Faraldalsfjall. This most recent activity suggests that an eruption will start in less than 24 hours, but if a sudden change occurs, like increased activity in the southwest end of the activity line, we would be looking at a longer time. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.